Hey everyone, today I'm going to be um, doing another practice on pendulum uh, art, pendulum painting. Uh, I've practiced a little bit. I've done about five or six of them and pretty much all failed. So I'm going to try it again. I had my cup <clears throat> too low to the canvas. I think I have it had it about here. And my paint was thinner, so it and the lines ended up being too wide and everything bled together. So I've raised it up a bit. Um, this is in no way this video's a tutorial. I'll just go through what I'm doing. I'm still in the learning stage. Um, so I just letting you know uh, beforehand, I'm not an expert at this. I, I'm just learning myself, and I'll show you how I set mine up. Okay, first of all, I've got a canvas underneath. It's not a canvas actually. It's a, it's a board, like a plaque, and I painted it gray. I'm gonna use white paint. Um, when I, I have some other ones here. To catch anything that when you when you uh, okay when you let this go like that that's a little bit wobbly right now but if I let it go too far half the paint ends up going on on the table and not here so I thought I'm gonna try to go a little bit closer um, and I thought that I would put canvases on the outside here just to catch a little bit of the over, you know, when, when the uh, container goes over this canvas. And I just want to see how that looks. I've, I've seen a lot of people put multiple canvases down underneath this. Okay, so this is a cup, just a plastic cup. And I've got a string tied on both sides it's, um, right in the middle and I have a little loop up here so when it hangs it's uh, it's very it's level I have a little hole in the bottom of the cup and it's about one eighth of an inch hole that I this is how I did it I have this here the point on it <clears throat> I heated this up with my torch and then I just poked um, in the middle. I found the middle and then I poked in the middle to make my hole. Okay, that's my hole. I have weights on the bottom. These are just things that I got from my, the garage. My husband gave me them so that I can put weight on my cup. Um, you can either tape weights to the side, but I guess it has to be all equal, all even, all the way around. Um, or it'll be wobbly. So I decided to, to use these and I've got about, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five of them on the bottom and I taped over onto the side. So they're right at the bottom and the hole is in the middle there. Um, okay. Yeah. So that's that. Oops. Okay. So yeah, <clears throat> I've got the thin wire. Oh, I have, I forgot to show you, but um, I have another one of these, um, what are they called, the little, um, from fishing line at the top as well, so it rotates easy. Don't know what they're called. Um, so I hook this on here. Uh, I have a bunch of other ones here that I have bigger holes, so I'll try them later one of them already. Um, the bottom, the paint that I'm using is, um, I'm just, I have a bunch of mist tint paints that I got a long time ago in little jars from Home Depot or Lowe's. This one's gray and then I just painted the other canvases with some uh, um, acrylic black paint. But I guess you can use any kind of paint to paint your canvas with. 
And then I've got here some house paint that I <clears throat> had to thin a little bit because it was too thick. Um, so you can use, I th I've heard, I watch Cole's videos and he says Cole's colors or Cole's color. He said that um, Bear Marquee works the best. Um, it's very expensive. I have a lot of paint laying around that I bought and I need to use up. So I'm going to see if some of them work. I guess you just have to try try different uh, brands and you know see what works best for you because it's too expensive to um, to use acrylic paint um, unless you buy cheaper acrylic paint. Um, Michaels has paint called Craft Smart, I think. Um, that's supposed to work. I don't know what else works. Um, that's about it, really. So anyway, that's how I set it up. Oh, I have this little board. Um, when you when you swing, and then you want to stop it to catch it, um, just so that uh, you don't have a funny line when you go to grab it. If you grab it like this, the, the line will be kind of strange where, where you grab it because the paint's still coming out. But if you go like this with a, with a cardboard or any kind of uh, thing and then grab it like that, it uh, should you should get a cleaner line. Okay, enough talking. <laughs> um, I didn't think. I have to plug my plug the hole when I'm adding the paint. And now I've got all these ring things on it. So it's going to be a little difficult, but I'm going to pull it away from the canvas. So I am going to swing, uh, not quite round, but just like that. And it should change, change angles. Okay. So to get a smooth, um, a smooth thing, a smooth, uh, circle or whatever to get, to get it to, to go smoothly, <laughs> I'm trying to say, um, you need to, when you bring it back, you just don't go throw it like that, right? Otherwise you'll get it wobble. It'll wobble a little bit. So you just have to hold it like this, let the paint start to run out and then just bring it back a little bit like this before you throw it out. And it should be a smoother, a smoother throw. All right, so. finger in the bottom and I'm going to try and pour and wish me luck here. I uh, hope I have enough paint. Should be enough. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not leaving it slack. I'm letting it just hang in here with my hand. So I want it to go this way. So It's looking better than I I've done before because I raised it up higher. So it's a thinner line. So far, so good. 
Oh no. See? I don't know what happened there, whether I had a, a blob in there or... Not getting any more on that canvas. Oh, now it's going there a little bit. I must have, there must have been a little lump, clump in the uh, paint. It's not coming out very good. There's still a lot of paint in here. Hmm. It's only coming out in drips right now. There must be uh, must be something s uh, stopping it. Somehow it got plugged up. I think these weights on the bottom caused a little bit of a problem. It's not too bad though. Except for that big blob. Okay, I'm just going to um, shut the cam, uh, shut the Shut my camera off for a minute. Okay, the I had to scrape the uh, gray canvas, the one that I'm was in the middle, and this is one of the ones that uh, uh, that was at the side. Also, this one here. So I'm going to keep them, and I'm going to embellish them somehow. And, okay, this is the other one. So I will let these dry, and I am plan to uh, do some embellishing on them. Okay, um, these are dry now. They dried okay. Um, obviously, I had to scrap, uh, scrape the gray one, the one that was in the middle, because it bled together too much. And these dried fine. So, uh, that tells me I need my cup probably a little bit farther away from the, the canvas, or I need a bigger canvas which is probably true. I need a bigger one. Anyway, um, I was going to embellish them and add them to this video, but it's going to take a long time to do that. I started to do one and I realized how long it's going to take. Um, so th that will be on a, a different uh, video. I'll make a new video of uh, how I embellish these. Okay, so... I uh, hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.